In this box, there's a $5 Yu-Gi-Oh tin. And in this box, there's a $500 Yu-Gi-Oh tin. I'm going to be opening up tins from a $5 value all the way up to a $500 value in this video. Let me know in the comments which tin will have the most value when we're done opening it. But before we get into it, we have a massive giveaway in today's video. I'm giving away this Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl that we pulled the other day. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know that question that I just asked. Which tin will have the most value when we are done? Done opening. First off, we are starting with the $5 tin and yeah, it's not in there. This tin actually doesn't fit in that size box. So I decided whatever, we'll just have a fake box just to make it look better. Our first tin is a tin of ancient battles 2021. Yeah, it's $5 tin. What do you expect? Okay. It's a little bit more than $5, but I rounded down for the sake of the title. The rest I think are pretty accurate when it comes to their pricing, but uh, you know, it's $5, you know, I think it might be like 10 or something. It's not very expensive. Let's see what we can pull. This is just the warm up for our other three tins. Our other three tins are all heavy hitters. All awesome. First three packs. We have 10 of ancient battles. There's still some great pulls in here like triple tactics talents we've got a uh, cross out designator which is actually being used quite a bit uh, like in master duel and stuff and a little bit in the current format as well so pretty solid actually i think quite a bit in the in the current format we got the feed ran we got the uh, titan remember there's two ultras in these packs and one prismatic secret uriah lord of searing flames not a bad start we love this card and the dear servant okay that's a great card i don't think the value is that crazy anymore but it's still pretty good and nerval because i think at this point a dear servant not as good of a deck but still a uh, pretty solid we're taking that pull i mean uriah we love to see those uh safe beast as well if you guys enjoy this kind of video i mean this is an expensive video for me because you know do not usually make the value back but i think it'll be a lot of fun to open up all these old school tents i can't wait for you guys to see what's in the rest of them there's some really awesome stuff but i'm not going to spoil it yeah we got the red rain bus saw shark gravity controller i want you guys to let me know that and answer that giveaway question before you watch them i want to see it i want to see if you guys can nail it thunder hand we got the dry trans zeta dry tran dry tron zeta albeha okay i don't know about that one and dogmatica maximus a lot of dogmatica stuff you love to see it and area of the water charmer that is not the starlight rare unfortunately can't get that in here there's no starlights in the tents i wish they would put starlights in the tents that'd be awesome but to be fair the prismatic secret rare looked beautiful in these and there's also going to be a really amazing reprints in the 2022 tens with really hopefully ash has the prismatic rarity that'd be really awesome curse of dragon the cursed dragon not redundant at all jabbing panda he's a f wait a second why does he have gloves and why is he in the water i get why he's he's a jabbing panda i get the gloves but why does he have the gloves on in the water and why is he in the water i don't get it and for noble that's just weird battle survivor we got the super heavy samurai trap tricks at emancipator signs okay not a bad card and oh alpha the master of beast very cool this does have a starlight print as well and then uh trias hierarchia all right cool so far a couple of decent cards but there's only a couple of like really high value cards in here and the dear servant's honestly one of the best not a bad start for our tins let's go on to the 100 tin next up we have the 100 tin yes the tin's actually in here it's in the rest of the boxes so we actually got to open this box we have a black winged dragon tin yeah this is pretty cool this tin is actually a giveaway one by a viewer and he asked me to open it up on a video i was like you know what better video to open it up than in the you know 10 5 to 500 10 opening this should be pretty cool so let's open it up let's see what he can get this is all a viewer's pull so maybe we'll give him some great luck to pull like a ghost or something in this i don't even remember what is in this 10 it's 2010 i say, I say 10 and 10 the exact same way so i'm sorry the black wing dragon includes one starter overdrive booster pack two absolute power force all have ghost rares and the shining darkness very nice and then the secret rare black wing dragon of course so let's see what we can pull Pulling. hopefully some amazing pulls all right we have the black wing dragon i'm gonna keep this sealed promo pack uh sealed as well because i don't know if he wants it open or not but we can check out the best card in the pack there's actually some solid cards maybe max c is in 2010 it might be in 2011 i can't remember max c super rares in one of them which is pretty awesome now we have our five booster packs let's see what we can pull i would love to pull a ghost here guys especially since it would be for a viewer it's even more fun to pull ghost rares for viewers because like you know obviously they get super hyped if that happens let's see what we can do okay just in case we're gonna do three we have hunter of black feathers okay i once used this in an auction series episode even you even remember what that was is so long ago crevice we got the quacky mirror sandman the archfiend interceptor blossom bombardment lena the light charmer another two charmers so far okay dragon laser we got the Quacky Mirror Prototype. I don't remember. Do you get a foil after? Maybe. I can't remember. Magical Triangle of the Ice Barrier. That just said magic, not magical. That's okay. Let's do Absolute Power Force so that we even them out. Have one of each pack left. Absolute Power Force. Crazy ratios if you open a booster box of this. Either bad or awesome. Like super craziness. Let's see. Rose Fairy. Fire Ant Ascator. We got the Spider's Lair. Tricular. The Unicycular. Oh, yeah. The Tricular. The Unicycular. Will we get the Bicular? Get the Trio. The Epicness. Call of the Reaper, okay. Magical Golem. Dijin Prognosticator of Rituals and 
Changing destiny. So we still don't know. This reminds me of uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I don't know about you guys, but that's what it does. That's what it reminds me of. All right, next pack we have Stardust Overdrive. Guys, we've opened a few of these first edition recently. I mean, we didn't get the Ghost Rare, but those new mystery boxes are pretty awesome to have them. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's no, let's do three. We're going to stick with three just in case it's uh, after the rare. We get a Herculean Power. Spidey Spidey. He'd love to see that card. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Reptilian Gorgon. Let's get a Ghost Rare. Iron Core Armor. Quacky Mirror Sea Panther. Speaking of Ghost Rare, you guys can win that Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare. Make sure you enter that giveaway. Pretty awesome. Uh, Gemini Counter. I feel like maybe do we have something after this? Fortune Lady Earth. Is there going to be anything? No. Savage Coliseum. All right. Very savage. Very Coliseum. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Two packs ago, I really want the Blackwing Dragon Ghost Rare. I think that'd be cool. But we would take the Majestic Red Dragon as well. Also an amazing card. I've pulled neither of those ever. So this would be pretty nice if we could do it. Shredder from Ninja Turtles. We've got the Destruct Potion. The Oil Man, Gundari, of the Temple of the Sun, Reptilian Servant, Meteor Flame, or Flare, I should say, Reptilian Vasky, and will it be after this? Reptilian Range, no foils so far in this 10. It's been pretty rough. Let's see if we can get something in the final pack. These 10s can be brutal, or they can be awesome. It just depends on how, you know, lucky you are, because Yu-Gi-Oh! pull rates, you guys know. What? What? You guys see this? Uh, they're pretty wild sometimes, so I don't even know. How do we even open? Oh, just pull it open. That's how. All right, one, two, three. Let's get that ghost rare. Even the ultimate rare or ultra rare of the black wing would be pretty cool. We got the Y cube. We got the Morphtronic scramble like them eggs. We got the Trigon. Dragon laser. Archfiend interceptor. Card breaker. We got the blossom bombardment. Infernity inferno. And oh, a bio falcon. Oh, an 0 for 510. That's a rough start to our actual good 10s. $5 10 doesn't count. <laughs> Not a great start, but we do have. A $300 10 incoming. Yes. What could be inside the $300 10? Let me know in the comments. You're about to see in approximately five seconds after I cut this video right here. Inside this box, we have a Cyber Dragon 10. Yes, this is the 10 I've had back there for quite a while, but we're opening it up today. Cyber Dragon. Hopefully, this is a PSA 10 promo now that they got that $18 bulk, bulk rate. Bulk rate. That's not the right way. Inside, we're going to get what? This is the first launch of 2006 10, so we get the two Cybernetic Revolution, one Elemental Energy, one Shadow of Infinity, and one Enemy of Justice. Let's see if we can pull a Cyber Dragon or a Cyber End Dragon Super or Ultra. That'd be pretty cool. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph, so go down below and click that subscribe button. First stop, we check out the promo will it be beautiful will it be awesome it already looks beautiful so we know that we don't have to worry about that portion of it will it be in great condition though front looks pretty good centering oh it's off unfortunately the back pretty good i mean pretty good overall i mean i really want this one in psa 10 one day i mean check that out i had two of these in my deck back in the day so really cool to see that promo yet again that's already an awesome pull even though it's guaranteed then we have our pocket guide of course and our five booster packs two cybernetic revolution one elemental energy one shadow of infinity and one enemy of justice let's see what we can pull here come on ultimate rares all right let's start off with a one the only cybernetic revolution pack i know we should probably save these for the end but we have two of them so i want to even it out just my uh, very not severe OCD, because <laughs> I don't want to act like I have crazy OCD, but sometimes I want to keep it even, if you know what I mean. All right, Battery Man C, Jetroid, we have the Tadpole, Steamroid, always kind of a decent card, actually, because it gains like, what, like 500 attack? Yeah, it's 2300 when it attacks. Uh, Death Frog, interesting card. The Spiritual Fire Art Kurinai, not bad either. Arrival appears. Ooh, and a Goblin Elite Attack Force. That's a super rare right off the bat with a Spiritual Water Art or Earth Art. What does this say? Kuragane. All right. And then we have the Goblin Elite Attack Force. Actually, a pretty interesting card. It's just worse than Goblin Attack Force. Worse attack, but better defense. I mean, they have armor on. You see this? But if you guys remember the Armored Zombie, armor doesn't do that much on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right. Glad that we actually got a pull. Let's go into Enemy of Justice. What shall we pull here? Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? I have a good feeling that we're going to pull something crazy. I don't know what it'll be. Will it be the Shining Phoenix Enforcer? I believe that we can do that. We have pulled uh, many an Ultra Rare Never an ultimate rare of that card. I don't even think we can pull the ultimate out of this, but we'll see. Raging Area. Whirlwind Weasel. Celestial Transformation. We got the Avalanching Asa. We have the Elemental Recharge. Layard the Liberator. This is a 2006 10, by the way. Super old. Uh, Destiny Hero Captain Tenacious. Ooh, and a Banisher of the Radiance. I forgot this was in here. Pretty good card. And Cyber 2 2. This does have an ultimate rare print as well, which is a really nice version for that card. All right, all right. One for two. Let's go to Shadow Infinity. Yeah, you guys remember that, uh, wait, this is first edition. I forgot about that. First edition, Shadow of Infinity. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, I've never pulled the Sacred Beast, even in Ultra. 
Yeah, and three out of the four ultras are sacred beasts. It's such a meme at this point. I pulled cyber laser, I think four times. It is the one of the four ultras that <laughs> is not a sacred beast and I pull it every time. All right, symbol of heritage. Let's pull one now. I don't care which one it is. It could be ultra rare. I don't care. Full salvo. It can be any of the three. Trial of the princess. We got the success probability zero. Just look at that hair, man. He has no hair on the top of his head, but he has like a mullet on the back of his head. It's pretty wild. Chain thrasher. Okay. Ancient gear, not the golem, just ancient gear. It's just a gear. Ancient gear drill. That's a drill at least. And death frog and goblin out of the frying pan. I would have taken this as an ult. He even has pot of greed in the artwork. That's pretty cool. He's trying to like sell him or something like that. Poor guy. Poor guy. Two packs left in our $300 tin. And then we go on to the final $500 tin. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to enter the giveaway because that's a ghost rare dark magician girl. I know you guys are going to want that. So make sure to enter it. Uh, I did announce the winners recently on the YouTube community tab. So make sure to let me know. I have not shipped all of them. Maybe like half of the people that have messaged me have shipped. All right, Featherwind. Here we go. Enemy of Justice. A lot of good cards in here. The League of Uniform Nomenclature. V Tiger Jets. This is a vanilla 1600. Familiar Possess Hita. That's got a uh, Charmer Starlight now. Infernal Incinerator. Oja Magic. Dark Deal. And W wing. Okay, don't worry. It's the next one. Oh, and an ultimate rare hero barrier. That's a beautiful card. We will take that. Ultimate rare hero barrier. It's not like the craziest card ever, but it's a hero card. I mean, ultimate rare hero card. You love to see that. Check out that texture on that card. Pretty nice. It's just the NA print, so it's not like crazy texture, but it still looks pretty nice. We're taking that. A super and an ultimate. Awesome. All right, this tin's been pretty awesome so far. Let's go back to Cybernetic Revolution, which did pull us a super rare at the beginning. Can it pull us? We could get a bubble man out of here. Ultimate rare, because it's a retail pack. That would be pretty amazing. Even unlimited i would love to pull a bubble man that would be pretty awesome i think that's the dream pull out of a retail cybernetic revolution uh, obviously of course cyber end unlimited is still cool even ultra and then the cyber dragon super is awesome as well let's go cyber arch fiend let's see what we can get pat roid it's a roid card we got to prepare to strike back there's the goblin attack force at it again is that the original or is that the uh, elite they don't have armor on so i'm guessing the original tyranno infinity classic dragon not dragon dino uh giant kazaki we've got the gyroid another classic it takes two attacks to destroy that guy uh, mechanical hound and finally oh another ultimate rare a spark blaster so we're getting all kinds of awesome hero cards so this card is like really awful because you have to equip it to spark man specifically and it's like not even good when you do that but it's still pretty sick i mean it looks really nice so we got a spark blaster and a hero barrier two ultimates out of 110 all right let's go all right the value is not going to be like amazing you're not going to be like whoa 500 it's probably like five bucks but still pretty awesome all right heck of a 300 dollars tin it's time to end it with our 500 dollar tin what could it be what do you guys think let me know in the comments i mean at this point you're like okay it's got to be something older right you know i mean it's 500 dollars for this tin yeah it, it's expensive it was a lot now let's hope that we can actually pull some decent cards out of here like that cyber dragon tin that was pretty nice let's see what we can get what will it be we have a bum bum buster blader tin check this out buster blader from 2003 and you guys know how these promos are if we can get a nice promo it'd be pretty amazing we have not opened one of these old school tins in a while we used to open these up all the time i opened all of them at one point go check that video out or those videos there's a playlist for opening every if you guys want to see opening every 2002 10 310 410 all the way to 2007 opening every pack all that stuff but we are going to open this up today and yes i'm opening this up for myself inside we have the one of the first five sets five different packs basically a hundred dollars a pack when you open this thing so pretty expensive let's see okay the promo you notice might not be at the top you're like why is it not at the top that's because they just threw it in the bottom of the pack or the the tin and there it is. And look at that scuffing on the back. That's because there's no protection, unfortunately. Hate to see that. All right, let's check it out. Let's see how beautiful it is at least. Okay, so the back, it's in not great shape. And then the front, oh my goodness, that is a pretty card. Buster Blader, secret rare. Very beautiful, very awesome. Glad to have gotten this one. Now let's get into the packs. The way to end this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Five old school the original 2002 2003 this is the only 2003 pack we have here we're gonna start with this one let's see what we can pull and these do indeed have fat packs if you guys remember the age old fat packs let's see what we can pull will it be what do we want out of lon i don't think you can get gemini in here i think it would be magic cylinder i'd be down for that swordsman of land style you love to see that joey wheeler bait doll the forgiving maiden very awesome the saint joan as well aqua spirit making sure we're still recording over there spirit elimination always got to check that skull lair Hysteric Fairy and 
Infinite cards. We always pull this out of LON. Infinite cards. I mean, it has a little bit of value. I think it got reprinted, so it's probably not too valuable anymore. But LON, you love to open those packs. Uh, pretty awesome. I think we have already done the box break. We just recently did a box break for LON. So go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Next up, Pharaoh's Servant. This is probably a weekend video, I would, I would suspect, because it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it belongs on the weekend, if you guys know what I mean. We've done some crazy videos this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed the old school stuff that we've had to, been, had to not had to do, but had the chance, had the opportunity to do. There we go. All right, attack and receive. This is Pharaoh's Servant. I think that we want to get uh, Buster Blader out of here. Thousand Eyes, that'd be cool. Gift the Mystical Elf. We got a World Suppression, because that was the one card we didn't get when we opened Pharaoh's Servant recently. Burning Land, we got the Shadow of Eyes. The Wing Weaver. Four starred Ladybug of Doom. Very nice. Armored Glass. I always thought this was an interesting looking card. Armored Glass. Okay. Uh, and a shift. All right. Shift. Very, uh, very interesting. What does this even do? Interesting. It changed the target. Okay. Next up, we have Magic Ruler. And here are the weird ones where it says Magic Ruler on the uh, on the actual pack. But then inside, I think it has like spell on the actual Magic cards. Very confusing. 2003 was a weird time. They were changing the magic to spell and all that stuff. So people are still, you know, can kind of confused about that to this day. So let's see. If we get a spell card, we'll, we'll be able to see it. Stone Ogre Grotto. We got the Chain Energy spell card. But it says MRL at the bottom. Still Magic Ruler, but it, they've changed it to spell at this point. And then later, they change everything to spell, like, including Spell Ruler. High Tide Yo. Jin, Boar Soldier, a Labyrinth Wall. We got the Liquid Beast, a liquid life form that thrives in water. I can see how he thrives in water, but how does he even differentiate himself from the water? It feels like he would just mix in. We got the House of Adhesive Tape, Ryu Ran, Toll, and will we get our first foil of this tin? An Amoeba! All right, we're getting a lot of weird creatures in this. Okay, we are 0 for 3 so far. This is not looking good. We have two packs to go. Metal Raiders. And you guys know we're saving Metal Raiders for last because a Pecanio Moth could save the day. We have a Legend of Blue Eyes pack, and yes, it's a fat pack. Yeah, no body shame in here, but it is indeed a fat pack. What can we pull? Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon out of a 2003 Legend of Blue Eyes pack? I believe. We got the Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman. The M Warrior Numero Uno. Very nice. The Mountain. Violet Crystal. Tripwire Beast. The Skull Red Bird. Mazurizame, where's the Yame? Is it next? Yame, Mazurizame, Yame, you love to see it. And will it be the blue eyes? No, but it is the giant soldier of stone, a classic card from Legend of Blue Eyes. That's okay. Not what we're looking for, though. We're saving it all for Metal Raiders and that Pequeno Moth. And here it is, the final pack of our $5 versus $500 tin opening. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Hopefully, we will end it with a fire pull because that Cyber Dragon tin was great. Other than that, pulls haven't been that good. So let's see if this can end it with something crazy like a Gate Guard. Well, Gate Guardian, I don't think it would be Gate Guardian. It would be Thousand Dragon. We could get Summon Skull, B Skull, Solemn Judgment, all that amazing stuff. And of course, Pequeno Swords of Deep Seated. Let's go. Guilty of the D Knight. Niwatori. What does that mean again? I can't remember. I just can't remember. Electric Lazard. Labyrinth Tank. Crawling Dragoon. The Immortal of Thunder. Mega Thunderball. And. A blade fly. Oh man. And we struck out on the Buster Blader 10. That's okay because that was an awesome opening. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more future videos. And don't forget to enter that giveaway for the Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Chill, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.